Today we're out here cleaning the bus, trying to get it ready for paint. So we're getting the pressure washer loaded with some gas. And we're going to clean the whole thing and start painting around the edges with some white tonight. Uh, we'll see if we really want to tape this sucker off or if we just want to go for it with hand painting around the windows and rolling around the sides and the top. But getting started. I'm going to put you on the head mount so you can see what's, what clean is looking like. So the paint that's on top is kind of oxidizing and pushing off as we rub it. So it's another layer that we gotta scrub deeper. So we found this little broom thing. We're gonna put a rag on it, get some Dawn soap, and we're gonna go after this uh, roof and try to be careful not to fall off of it. Right, babe? Get some dish soap. The best. Done. This is the ultimate car wash. Come on down to the car wash, man. We wash your car or your bus, we don't care. Good old Brighton technique here. <laughs> oh, now I'm bleeding all over the roof. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Got a bit close on that one. That's small. We need to go take care of that. <laughs> oh, how do you turn this off? Fine, oh, like. I'm fine. You're in shock. No, I'm not. It's not deep, babe. It's not good. <laughs> it's not deep at all. It didn't just go to my bone. Okay. It like moved my skin off. I've got tape in the climbing bag in the back here. Can I just go home and fix it? No. Let's just put a. No, I'm not. I'm gonna put my shoe on after I wrap it with some. Napkin and tape. <laughs> well, let's go find. Just come with me. I'll be fast. No, I really don't want to, babe. He's just trying to find the first aid kit.
She really wants me to be suited up. <laughs> you want to tape a freaking napkin to your foot. I'm going to have to clean that up later. Because <laughs> it's not going to just... You have to take care of these things. Alright. You put the napkin on the foot and then you wrap it all up. It's not a napkin, it's actually... <laughs> Like to say. <laughs> no, this is a non-stick pad, so it won't be stuck inside your cut. Mm. And napkin, you're gonna have a bunch of little tissues that you're gonna have to scrub out. Mm. You don't want to scrub it. You already, it's, you guys missed the part where you almost cried with the first aid spray. I did not. So that's a lie. Whatever she said. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. It's. <laughs> Just because you edited it, you better not cut this out. Some water coming through the skylight still. Just a little puddle. I know. The windows look good. The emergency. Beautiful sunset. Beautiful girl. The bugs just love her skiing. And there's the moon. Pretty Luna. Looks like Tasia's working harder than me, to, than me today, but she's not. Right, babe? Right. Sure? Yeah. I don't know. I did get my hands dirty, so. Alright, so we got a little carried away with the taping and the masking. We forgot that we got to move the van or the bus back into the spot. So, before we get too far into it, where I can't see out of the front or this window or the back windows, I got to pull the bus over and uh, take care of that first. So, day two, working on painting the bus. We got half the windows. And then we got it all washed off and sealed and 
so now we're gonna tape off the rest of the windows and everything and get started on painting it. You excited? Oh yeah! Where's our paint friends? Ah! Yep, still taking us quite a bit of time to finish off taping this thing up. It's a big old vehicle. If you're thinking about getting a schoolie and painting it, these are the kinds of things you don't expect. Babe, I need Hours of prepping and probably painting won't take that long, so. We finally finished taping her off. Now we're to uh, our first few strokes of paint. Oh, Maxi girl. Yeah. Hey, Maxi. <laughs> All right, get on out of here. I'm too excited for this. Come on, come on. Hi, Kip. Good girl. First camp. Everyone told us that we should use a sprayer, but we don't know how to do that. <laughs> how to even, where to even start. And we already bought, like, this is only part of the stuff. Can't waste all of it. Yeah, we already bought everything to paint it. But these little grooves, or whatever you'd call them, that run along the side, are ridiculous. Like, everything else we can roll on, but... These we're gonna have to hand paint all of them. Yeah, and then it's all spotty, so you have to do the brush. You can see there's all these spots here, and then this is where I've like went over all of it. But we're gonna get it done. Rainbow Warrior, so I thought we should go Warrior Paint. I'm the one who started painting our faces. Alright, you're right. <laughs> but I decided to take mine off because my hair was getting stuck to it, and you can see now my cheeks are super red because Rust Oleum does not come off of your face very easily. It was not our best call of the night. So I'm not stuck to pull it off of my face. Yeah, I still gotta go through it. But, but we made it almost all the way to the stop sign. <laughs> So we probably should stop. It's like 10 o'clock. We've been working since like two. Since like two. But I also had a pole dancing class today and we cleaned the house and did all this other stuff. So. And now we're covered in paint. Covered in paint, getting hungry. We're gonna clean up, call it a night, and go we'll eat some dinner. we back at it tomorrow morning. Hopefully we're up before the sunrise tomorrow to come out here and start painting. Before the sunrise. Or yeah. During, no, during the sense. sunrise, but it's we'll cool. We'll see about that, but... <laughs> Good night. Good night. We got pretty far last night. We 
didn't come back before sunrise. That was a lie. We brought the squishy with us today. We we're puppy sitting the little girl. So we're gonna be doing one hand on dog, one hand on brush until we get some friends. <laughs> the lovely aftermath of two bad decisions in a row. <laughs> First, I decided to put Rust-Oleum on my face. That was a bad idea. And then I tried to wash it off with soap and cold water and my skin was already irritated. Then I used warm water and just basically scrubbed all my cheeks off. So next time, if you ever get paint on you, you use coconut oil and then it'll come right off. Yep, my mom told me. <laughs> He's like, oh, yep. So now we know that. Couple so, dummies. Mine yeah. didn't get bad, but I did scrub them raw. They hurt. But they're not like... <laughs> they're not like this <laughs> so little like blushy mine. girl. Yeah, it's terrible. I'm gonna have to deal with that for a minute. But we got mostly up one side last night. And this is where we're starting off today, so getting back after it. We got one side all the way done. And now we're gonna go up to the roof. taped off the side a little bit. We're not gonna go like hard lines or anything, but just to get an idea of our color system, we laid our cans out in front of them all. So we're gonna try to use a paint sprayer for our first time and give Hopefully her a go. We can blend it Hopefully we can blend it nicely and by the time we get to the hood, we'll probably have this thing figured out. Yep. <laughs> first timers over here. This thing's pretty sweet though. It's just a handheld cordless. sprayer. Cordless. Just hook the little pot up onto it after you fill it with paint. Oh, my face is a lot better, by the way. It scabbed up <laughs> and then I picked it all off, which is probably a bad idea, but now it's just barely red, so. Getting better on that end. Yeah. <laughs> Still sunburn as fuck. All right, we've been kicking the ass today. We started at about noon. Pause the music. Started about noon and it's like five o'clock. So we've been out here for about five hours and we've got all the way up to the orange done. I decided to let Tasia take over because I trust her judgment and We've both been coaching each other all day, so might as well just let one of us do it and be happy with it. So my job is tearing off all the window paper. I'll come around the other side and show you guys. There's the purple. We just have to come through now and finish up these little edges with the paintbrush. But we did pretty good, I'd say. And here's the other side. All the way over the roof is done. So we are just making our way right, around, right along here and we'll be done by tonight. Have our Rainbow Warrior, the Dream Machine. All right, we are back painting the inside today. 
We came out pretty early, probably like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and started taping all of our windows from the inside. All the lights on top. All the lights on top. I finished scraping all the numbers off of the walls and emergency exit signs. Washed the whole thing. I had to wash it all with the Windex. And reused some of our paper from the outside because we ran out. But we are renting our paint sprayer for an extra four hours today. We're supposed to get it back by 4.20 and it is 1 o'clock right now. So we've got three hours and 20 minutes to see if we can paint the whole inside. Well, and we have to drive it there too. So we've got like three hours. <laughs> so we got like three hours to get this done. we gotta extend it again, but... Let's see how we do. If we have to extend it, I'm not too weird. Yeah. But we're gonna push it. We gotta get the we're Gonna make the inside look great. Rainbow Warrior. <laughs> My favorite kind of painters are topless kind of painters. <laughs> now we're legal. <laughs> Just about done. And now we're on the living room and the cab. Let me get to the back or front and show you guys. Pretty cool. So we finished painting the bus and returned the spray gun to Home Depot. And then um, now we're back here and we're going to start peeling off all of the um, tape and all of the, whatever all, you call it. All of the paper stuff. masking. <laughs> yes, that stuff. But in the meantime, when we were going from Home Depot back to the house, we called the Utah State Tax Commission to figure out what's been going on with our title because we should have, like, we sent them everything we needed to, did everything we were supposed to, and we still didn't have the title. So we called them and we found out that, what was the date? Uh, August 11th, all of our information was, I think we sent it all in on like the 9th of August, and by August 11th they had processed everything and put it through to the DMV and the state's records and stuff like that, but something went wrong and we haven't received the title in the mail but we're all legal. So we've been legal <laughs> for like a month we've been and legal just for didn't a month. know. We've been thinking, we're checking the mail every day like when's it gonna come? Are we good? Are we good? And n we've been fine. We've been and fine. when we were in the process, do you want to show them? We had to take our seat belt down. Up, It latches on up there and it got all locked up. There it is on the floor there. We can't figure it out, so we have to order a new one. <laughs> we broke it. Yeah. We and broke the seatbelt, so that's what's holding us down now. But, I mean, if we didn't have that, or if we did have that title, we'd probably leave town and we wouldn't have the paint job. We wouldn't have yeah, the walls up. Yeah, we wouldn't have had all of this done. We would have been messing so around probably, because we already <laughs> want to. And now that we know we're going to get legal tomorrow, we like, we need to get a seatbelt so we can go. So we're this close to being ready for the road, guys. But we're going to be able to drive this rainbow bus around town. Next week. And watch people's reactions <laughs> in no time. 
<laughs> and we decided that her name is Chakra. Yep. Because of the beautiful rainbow and how it's going to be That's such a... That's what inspired us to do it. A light machine and an energy worker and I think it's going to be an awesome name for her and the movement that we're trying to keep alive and... We've been putting a lot of energy into it. Setting, in, go, setting so. intention with their home every day, every step along the way. So, super stoked to have the paint job done. On to the next project. Yeah. Woohoo! We're the Swan Rainbow Warrior. Don't never belong, we are chanting songs of freedom. Hey, and go like this, bro and sister. Say, like I'm a rainbow. Warrior, rainbow, rainbow warrior, Lord I am a rainbow. Warrior, warrior, blue now. Yeah, she said, them fuzz and them fight, silly hypocrites, where them want to lie, them die. Gotta <laughs> keep some of the original steez. Dusties. Got to walk in front to back. Me and you, all me and you, shine, shine, dark, more right.